What's up, what's up, Game Wars? Steve Rocky here, and welcome back to another Infinite Lagrange video. And it's been a hot minute since I've recorded anything. Now, in that time frame, it's been about, actually, let me be specific, okay? Let me be specific. It's been about five days since I recorded anything. For you, it's probably been a while. Uh, that is because I upload these about two to three weeks after I actually record it, um, because... Like most of you guys, I have a life, I have a family, I have a job, and this is, uh, well, something that I enjoy doing and want to share with people. So it's about two to three weeks after I actually record this that I actually upload. Uh, and that's because I have to edit it and there's a certain way I like to edit and there's a thumbnail and the way I want to design the thumbnail. So I want to make sure and also to make sure that I don't lapse two to three weeks in content so that there's always something fresh coming out uh, on my channel, right? That's key. That's important. So, yeah, I backdate some of them. Hope you guys don't mind. Anyhow, anyhow. So, let's see. Uh, I got attacked by the Korean Federation. Uh, attacked so hard that I got pushed across the map. Okay. We were up here. Um, Yeah, we ended up here. Okay. So, after that, after that, we started pushing back a little bit. Um, didn't go so well. Then... Which, this video, I'm, I'm actually going to upload. We attacked Sandilia, but the Korean Federation, um, well, they decided that they didn't want to uh, adhere to a truce. Or, the truce that we made was so messed up that it actually allowed them to backstab us. I don't know. <laughs> but that attack did not go as well, um, and I didn't fare as well as I thought I would. So, yeah. Um, right now, I am contemplating... Actually, no, I'm not contemplating. I am actually going to leave the union um, and find a new one. Uh, one that has the scruples to actually attack and coordinate correctly. <laughs> yes, I'm a bit perturbed. Anyhow, what I wanted to touch base on today was outpost. I don't know if this one just finished, but I started building it earlier. Yes, it's done. So I could build two outposts, right? And I'm actually... Uh, I'm actually expanding my base out again. And I actually got a cool new uh, frigate. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hold on. Let me show you the, the frigate. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This guy right here. The Mare Serentius. I, I'm probably butchering this name. But this thing is a heavy missile frigate. Okay? So it has these cannons. But this is... This is... This is... The soup. This is... This is... This... This actually, it's not even the soup. It's the nuts, right? It's the shit you eat after the soup, right? The, the delicious, meaty, hearty things, right? From soup to nuts. If you don't get that, it's an old term. But yes, I'm, I'm old, by the way. I'm like fucking 30 something. That's old. <laughs> Anyways, so the supernova anti-ship torpedo. So technically, it's a heavy torpedo frigate. Oh, my goodness. So I've, I put some stuff in here and I've, I've been learning what to really kind of hone in on in upgrading these things and this one i got I, I went with this one first right because it improves the loading mechanism increasing the transportation and the auto loading speed speed i've learned especially in mobile games speed is king okay i don't care if it hits hard once every five minutes because if i'm shooting one at you every one minute and it's only half the damage of one that hits you every five minutes okay i'm shooting five at you every minute for the one you're shooting at me at five minutes that's double the damage so i'm actually quadrupling the damage well actually no I'm, I'm i'm doubling it but i'm doubling the damage okay i'm doing if you just went and increased the damage per missile you see what I'm saying? So, speed is game. So, boom. And um, I started going into this one too because, again, it is increasing the trend. It's reducing the error rate, right? So, obviously, I'm reducing the rate. So, you can see here, my, my cooldown time is significantly reduced. So that's 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 uh, pretty good. I, I put one in each of these, though, just to kind of like... So, hit rate. I got to get the hit rate up. Um, increases the damage. I got to get the damage up. And I believe this one increases damage too. So I went with speed first. But yeah, this thing. Yeah, you guys are going to see it in action because I'm, I'm, I'm about to go tack. 
uh, these pirates, level six pirates, actually. So yeah, uh, and I've gotten the medium. Yeah, the medium utility ships. I can't actually mine this one right now, but I can mine this one, which I think I'm doing right now because this one tells you. So the, they actually tell you small one can do this one. And a medium one could do this one. So I could get this medium one. The problem with that is, is I'm, I'm, I'm fearful of actually who be building here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he was in my faction. So, uh, union, we'll, we'll have to see. I was kind of rude to him, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Anyways, this is probably him too, I think. That's his pay stone. So, anyways, I'm I'm about to get the f out of that union. It doesn't look like they're in there either. So, <laughs> anyways, um, so yeah, outpost. I'm probably gonna have to abandon this one. I'm I'm gonna mine whatever the hell I can out of this thing and get the hell out of here. So I'm not sure what uh what pay stone and uh this guy are going to do so I need to I need to move anyhow let's look at outposts let's go to this one which I actually have to attack so while we're waiting for my guy to come over here and attack him we'll talk about this Ten four. okay so what outposts are is it, it more or less it's like a it's like a jump point right obviously you could see it's not providing security at all okay it's giving me a warning and that is because I have a Level five and a level five. Oh, level seven. Ooh, this one's gonna be a tough one. This one's gonna be a tough one. Let's move the fleet over here while we're waiting. In motion. Uh, a level seven pirate, right? So it's not providing protection at all. Okay, zero. What it normal? What it looks like it does to me is it provides a warp point. It increases your ability to go into warp instead of just regular space, right? So you're going into warp space. So as you can see here, let's scroll over here. Right now he's not right because he's in regular space. Uh, well, he's actually in my controlled area. So once he leaves this this control point, the fleet will warp, and depending on if you're warping to a friendly. Or an outpost, okay, you will go into warp, okay? So it looks like it, it's more of a warp point. The second thing I've noticed about an outpost is Command authority registered. I can relocate my base here, okay? So I can say, hey, I want to move my headquarters here. And I do it, and we're done. So, yeah, that works. I could basically relocate. And I think that's actually the only way you can relocate your, your main base. So it's through these outposts. So if we scroll out, go go long picture view. I have one here and I have one here. So if I'm attacked, I have two different areas I can go to. Uh, subsequently, this one's probably the more safer one because I don't know what Payson and uh, Fapago are going to do at this point because there is some tension, especially with Fapago and me. I didn't necessarily like the approach he had with the attack on Sandilla. Um, and there was some tension points. And I think you're not going to see it in the video, uh, but there was some tension points. So I'm, I'm, very, uh, I'm very cautious about what's going to happen here. And I need to keep my head on a swivel. That's one of his outposts. Uh, I really need to find its location and make sure that we're good to go. Uh, but yeah. Anyhow, anyhow, so you can see he's right there on the precipice and then boom, done, in a warp. So it's going to take nine minutes, so we might cut and just come to that battle. The other thing you can do with outposts is if we come here to Sandilla, people have built their outposts on this, right? I'm not sure what it does, but I know some of these provide boosts, right? And I think you can actually, no, I know the base, you can actually Incoming attach orders. it to one of these. It doesn't look like it's going to let me do that here. So we could come in here and we can view it. Now, as you can see, the, I don't, I think the views are always the same on these outposts, right? Like I should see a lot of stuff around me, but I don't. And there's really nothing you can do to the outpost. If you click this, 
it's going to ask you, do you want to destroy your outpost or abandon it? And you're going to get some resources back. Not a lot. Okay. This is only half because it took about 10,000 crystal for me to build this. Okay. And about, I think a hundred thousand metal. These things are expensive. You don't want to destroy it. So we're going to cancel that. We don't want to do that. Okay. Um, but I think that's really all. Ooh, this is a good segment into this. I did the financial plan. Why? Because it returns this much. It was a smart thing to do. Okay. Um, and with that being said, why don't we go into what allows me to do? So it gives me extra, uh, I want to say, prox Proximia coin, right? And if you go in the store every day, they give a 50% off of a black market file, which we're going to take. And then every single day, you could get one of these, I think, for, uh, yeah, 10,000 uh, UE coin. So we're going to take it. I produce enough, and I do enough missions that I could get it. Now, you could get two a day. So I think I, think I might get two because I'm not really purchasing much um, because I was, I was purchasing some things. And you can also get uh, tech files, too. I'm not sure if I want to do that because you're going to get them through this generic anyways. Let's pull this over. Let's see what we get. So if this glows white, we ain't getting good nothing. That looked kind of blue. Nope, it isn't. So if you get a blue light, you actually get like a blueprint. So this, yes, that's going to go for my destroyer. Research points. We'll take it. And then destroyer tech points. Of course, uh, the AC-720, I showed in my last video, it's a really good resource collection ship. And it's a pretty good ship if you... Uh, if you don't have like a carrier, you could use this as a carrier for uh, the Corvettes. But right now, I'm going to focus on the Taurus because this thing is just a beast. So research that. That'll take about an hour to do. Uh, we can't research any re anything else there. Let's see what we get from the generics. White again. So uh, a nothing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Good thing I bought two of them. <laughs> so I, I, all I got was tech files. Okay, but you know what? Everything at this point for me is useful. All right, let's click out of here. All right, so, yeah. I don't think I could see. It says dock, but see, I think it only lets you do command centers to docking. So, um, that's curious, man. If I, if let's say if did I, if I wanted to dock here, out, outpost command center level five is required for unlocking the docking point. Go to the base to upgrade. So I can't do that anyways, which I'm going to want to do in the future anyways. And this tells you what it does guarding. Uh, also they're guarding it. Uh, danger alert. Oh, so it will increase the deuterium yield. Hmm. Yeah. So I got to find what these things do for uh, docking my outpost to. They, they're supposed to do something. Okay, so this one doesn't have one on it. Let's see what it does. Here we go. EU coin production yield, 600%. So if you can dock one of these things to it, boom, you get right here, EU point uh, production yield plus 600. That's actually not that bad. What I was doing, if you come here, you get missions out of here. That's why I'm still liaisoning with it. Even though I don't control the city, or my union doesn't control the city, you could get quests, which I've been doing. But if I go to view, I can trade. But right now, I can't purchase anything because it's occupied by another union. But you could get ships, resource packs. I was buying the resource packs, right? Um, but yeah, I can't even get these because it's occupied by a different union. So, Okay, so... Let's, uh, let's come back because obviously Outpost, excited about it. I'm expanding my sphere of influence. Um, yeah, let's attack this guy. I want to show you what the torpedo boats can do. And we'll be right back. All right, Gaming Warriors. So while I was waiting for that, chatted up with uh, Fopago. And it looks like we're good. Not mad at each other. <laughs> and they're starting a new federation, which, you know what? I'll join. Why not? Okay. So, uh, before I click go on that one, 
we completed another chapter. We're on chapter 12 now. Yay! So build one outpost. Done. Uh, let's see. Increase four tech points for destroyer blueprint. Done. Defeat three level four pirate fleets. Done. Fleet size reaches 200 command points. Oh yeah, we're done. <laughs> so ex expand to zone five and a base. Need to get that done. And military port reaches level two. We could get that done. So, but before we do that, let's end this. Let's end this video with the oh so glorious battle. And let's try to take on this level seven guy. Let's see. Let's see what it's gonna say. Advantaged. Advantaged. That doesn't make sense to me. It should say you have an advantage, but it says, says advantaged. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I want. I want to see this. Oh boy. I want to see this. Oh yeah, baby. So we're gonna follow uh, my new mayor, Serentius. Heavy frigate, heavy torpedo frigate. So look, look, look at the difference between the look of the outpost here and when you zoom in. And the outposts look the same everywhere. So it's uh oh. What do these guys have? That's what I want to know. Okay, we're at all stop. What's going on? Okay, hey, yo, full speed ahead. Okay, so one thing I did notice is these uh, asteroids, these 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 asteroid fields really do mess everything up, especially when the pirates are in here. So I think we might have to click out and not see the actual battle, which is kind of depressing. In the pipe, five by five. Let's see. But are we close enough to where I could actually see what ships they have? Are we? Yeah, it's not it's not gonna it's not gonna show me. It just says fourth division, noble Drake Pirateer Corpse. Ninety nine percent health. Are they being attacked? No, but it looks like they're going after my damn outpost. So yeah, right here we're stuck, it says twenty six minutes. I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, they're not attacking. It looks like the movement part is kind of messed up. So, you know what? We're going to come back once this is kind of figured out. Be right back. Okay. We are in the fight now. Let's get in there. All right. What are we dealing with here? A star sweeper. I don't think these things carry any uh, fighters. So we got two star sweepers. That looks like a star sweeper here. Oh, they they are carrying some fighters. Damn. Yeah, we got these crushers do carry fighters, and they're 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 pretty damn powerful to be honest with you. So we got another crusher here. So two star, three star sweepers, and a crusher. Let's see. We're holding our own though at ninety one percent. Oh, we just dropped quickly. Oh my goodness, we're dropping real fast. Yeah. We're taking a lot of damage. This is going to be a close fight, guys. Oh my god. Those fighters, dude. What are those things? Oh, they went back into the bay. Looks like they, they just... I think they're bombers, to be honest with you. Oh, wow. They destroyed one of my destroyers. That's not good. What's this guy sitting at? 9%? So he's almost dead. Yeah, we're just unloading on him. Thank god. Okay, so who's the next one? Looks like this guy. He's at 100%. Let's see how far we can get him down to. 99 that's pretty fast look at just the hail of bullets so i've done a lot of upgrading to the fg3 uh fg300s um and as soon as i find a good replacement a good mid fighter for the fg300s i'm probably going to get rid of the all-purpose ones and just straight dump everything in reset everything and just dump them in to the armored ones the armored ones are just like really good oh man those bombers just hit the crap out of him oh he's actually not doing too bad though How's he doing? Enemy warship locked in our position. These destroyers are expensive. Oh yeah, he's taking a big obedient. What are these things? Can I can I click on one? Let's see. Speed. No, they're too damn fast. <laughs> Where'd you go? Hey, you little buggers. I really I really need a blueprint that's uh. Hey 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 hey! Slow down. 
Ah, a bullfrog? Look at this guy. Yeah, I think he's a bomber. Looks like we are shooting at him. Oh yeah, we got him. It's only 90% though. Yeah, I definitely need something a little bit better at smoking these guys. We are getting them though. Alright, where are we at? We're at 75, they're at 69. Oh wow, look at this. This guy's... Uh, where, who's he gonna bomb? Who's he gonna bomb? Doesn't look like he hit anybody, to be honest with you. Oh, there's quite a few of these bullfrogs. Wow. We're still hitting them, but we just don't have anything effective against ant, uh, well, anti, I want to say aircraft, but it should, it should be spacecraft, right? Because there is no air in outer space. I think, I think I'm just being like, semantical at this point. <laughs> That's problem. That's a problem for me. So, all right, let's see, let's see how this guy's doing. I lost, it looks like we lost another tourist uh, destroyer. Yeah, we did. That's not That's not good. But we had one, just looks like, uh, did, did they lose anything else? They're at 61, we're at 68. This is a really close battle, by the way. This, I need this area. This is like a no-go. I need to protect it. 30%. Weapons hot. Commencers 28%. He's doing pretty good. We're going to knock him out. Oh, man, I just lost two more destroyers. No, I lost one more. Okay. So I still have... Let's see. I only have two destroyers left. It looks like this guy's really trying to get those those buggers. Hey, hey. I wish I could focus these guys, right? Please focus fire here. Like, concentrate on the Star Sweeper. It looks like we're getting them, though. Here's the full list. So, yeah. They're, they're just down to these guys right here. Um, if, if I could just... Fo oh, yeah. We just knocked that one guy out. So we literally just have the two, this star sweeper and this crusher. Oh, and that crusher back there. There we go. Focus on the star sweeper. Can, can we actually force them to do? Yes, we can. Can we? Yes, focus here. Focus. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. He's got a nice ion cannon though. Come on, guys. They're at 49% max. What's he at? 89. Come on. It's a beautiful thing. E e even though, like, I know, like, these rounds aren't really all hitting. Look at that wall. Just a sheer wall of lead. It's a beautiful thing. Look at this. Let's go in the picture view. That is a beautiful thing. That That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous picture. Just straight up gorgeous. All right, well, let's go back and... <laughs> enough for the picture view. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm playing on the computer. So you don't get this, and I can't really take a picture. But on and, and most of the thumbnails you see, I'm, I'm actually taking photos on my phone. Uh, actually, the Battle of Sandilia on when I'm part of the Union faction, because I'm about to leave it and join that other faction. Um, so, uh, Fabago, when you actually see this video, if you ever do, thank you very much. And uh, thank God that you didn't take my criticism as complaints. Most people do. It's not complaints. It's just areas I think we need to improve on. But thank you. Anyways, um, yeah, I I'm, I recorded most of that on my phone, right? So I'm going to have to basically speak over the recording. I'm not going to be able to record everything uh, via my computer and play on the computer. Uh, I mostly play this mobile, right? Uh, that and that's that's really the romance of this game for me is the fact that. Look at this battle scene, right? You could do this on your phone. That is amazing. It's just amazing. Yeah, you have limited control. It's it's not like, I mean, it's not like Stellaris where you could pull things in and out. But it is kind of. I think this is more like what Stellaris Galaxy Command should have been than what Galaxy Command was. This is way more like it, so... Um, and, and it provides a lot more control. Uh, I, I couldn't do outposts in, in Star Wars Galaxy or, or Stellaris Galaxy Command, but I could do it in this game. So it's just a lot more freedom in this game than the other one. So I'm really enjoying this one. We haven't even touched this crusher. Where's the other one at? Let's, uh, let's zoom out. 
Oh, wow, I must have got the other one. Yeah, I did. Oh, well, we're doing actually better than I thought. We're taking heavy damages, which I'm going to have to write down the losses and go and figure out which ones actually... So when it says exited, it didn't tell you whether they blew up or they warped back. Because sometimes your ships will, like, say, F it, I'm out, right? And then they warp back. Um, so you got to kind of pay attention to that, see kind of what losses you got, and uh, just rebuild from there. But, yeah, this is pretty crazy. One ship left. 99% on this crusher. So this is the aircraft carrier guy. And it's not really... I think those are Corvettes. So he stocks Corvettes. Because I don't I don't actually see a hangar. It looks like they just... They hang here. So this is definitely a Corvette carrier. Um, and I think it's actually... I think this is actually a cruiser. But it carries Corvettes with them. Now, those Corvettes are devastating though, man. They're, they're really... The, what's actually really causing me the headaches... Are the those damn bullfrogs? Let's see, what are we doing? At ninety-seven percent. This thing really takes a beating, though, man. We're down to fifty percent. The twenty percent, it's not again indicative of the actual the uh, of the single ship. It's it's basically an overview of the entire fleet, right? But it looks like most of my destroyers are dead. They are. So I'm literally just relying on my frigates at this point, right? And it's basically my my armored frigates, which I have a crap ton. The multi-role one, which makes up the majority of my mid-fleet, right? Um, and then my my four heavy frigates at this point. So uh, these bullfrogs are really having a picking. And it looks like we're pretty much at a stalemate. My destroyers are the ones that really cause the massive amount of damage. Um, and without that, uh, it, it, this turns into a slow, painful grind, right? Um, as you saw when we were looking over my, my heavy frigates, they are not very accurate. They fire fast, though, right? So it's, 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 it's like spraying an SMG all over the place, okay? And I think, I think these guys actually have anti-air missiles, is what you, what you see kind of chasing around the bullfrogs. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. What are we sitting at right here? Because, again, this isn't indicative of truly what the ship's at. So we're sitting at 91% for them. We're sitting 48 total of our fleet. We just dropped down to 90 on this one. Yeah. So I'll tell you what. We'll come back right towards the end. And, uh, yeah. Because it's going to be like this for a minute. So we'll speed through this. All right, well, that went faster than I anticipated. But yeah, both took heavy losses. Let's take a look at the overview and see what we have here. Yeah, all of our destroyers done. <laughs> uh, two of our multi rolls. Yeah, that's not bad, though. The frigates really held their own. I'm very impressed that uh, the five destroyers were the only ones that took the brunt of this. And I only lost two multi roll frigates. That's a testament to the frigates, man. They're actually more durable than people think they are. Anyhow, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, we kind of got into, you know, kind of what the outposts are. Um, and you could connect them to other things. I just haven't really done that. And they really just kind of like expand your influence and, and where you can warp and the speed of which you can go through things. So anyhow, that's all I got this for this episode. <laughs> See you in the next one. Chief Rocky out.